So after uploading yesterday's videos about the outbreak odds, something just didn't sit right with me. Basically, in over 500 resets, how are we going to see a Pokemon like Rufflet 50% of the time, rather than seeing Starly, who is around the same caliber I would say, 0% of the time. So that's when I went on stream to do some research. And with doing this, I ended up finding a trick that will help you basically spawn whichever Pokemon you want from the outbreak list. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. No bullshit, let's get into it. Hi, yo. So I usually don't do live recordings because I stir a lot, which is why I stick to voiceovers. So uh, if you notice a lot of cuts in this video, that's probably why. Uh, also, don't flame me. All right, so to do this trick, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously find a Pokemon that you do want shiny. Uh, so I'm gonna go into Cerebi, see the Outbreak Pokemon and see a Pokemon that I actually want shiny here. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a shiny Luxray. Luxray is sick and I'm pretty sure we haven't even seen him on the spreadsheet. And let me remind you, this spreadsheet has data from over like 600 plus resets or something. And here we can see we have, yeah, we haven't seen even Luxio or Luxray once. We haven't seen an outbreak for both of these Pokemon a single time. So now that I know what I want, uh, what next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Pokedex and I'm going to find Luxray. It'll also help a lot if you actually have the uh, Pokedex entry for the Pokemon that you want to spawn in on your map for an outbreak. So just keep that in mind. All right, so we go to Luxray here. We can see that it spawns right here, all in that top right section of the map. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fly there. We're going to fly exactly to where it just told us to go. All right, so we are pretty much plopped down in the center of where it said the Luxury spawns. If you look at the map, lines up perfectly. Yep, we can even see um, him that it, like in the little area that around us. We can see that he spawns. He's kind of hidden behind me there, but you can see that he spawns here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go to our settings and we're just going to start resetting. Some Pokemon are still rarer than others, so it's not going to work um, on the first try, maybe in the second try, but it will still work better than not being in the area that um, a Pokemon spawns in. And let me just say this works for the entire area on my map right now. This, it, this whole area on my screen, if a Pokemon can spawn in that area or in any area on my screen, it can have an outbreak for that Pokemon, or the chances are increased, I should say. And we can already see this working right here. I just refreshed my game for about the fifth time, and I don't think we've seen a Grumpig once. Yup, right here, zero times, right here, zero percent. And let me remind you, this, this data here is from over 600 plus resets. But because I'm in an area where Grumpig can spawn, and I can see that area on my map, it influences it to spawn there. I boom just like that about like maybe 20 resets later we finally got it and that might seem like a big number but let me remind you that we reset for like 600 plus times we haven't even seen a Luxray once the only reason I'm seeing this Luxray right now is because I'm in the area that it spawns in so you can see as long as a Pokemon can spawn in your general area from where you are on the map it can have an outbreak of it all right all right so let's go ahead and just mark Pretty much just where this Luxray is. I'm gonna head over there. Alright, and here we are at the Luxray Outbreak. So what I'm gonna do really quickly is see what Luxray actually looks like when he's shiny. Alright, oh my god, he's fucking sick, dude. So we can see he's just full yellow. Actually, so sick. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna make sure my autosave is off. I'm gonna drop a hard save here. I'm just going to go ahead and start farming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count to 60 here. That's one. I'm going to go ahead and try and kill 60 Luxuries here. So once I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and cut to it. All right, 59. And 60. All right, that is 60 Luxuries killed. So now that I did that, I'm going to go ahead and drop another hard save. Uh, I saved before just in case I accidentally kill too much and the outbreak ends. So, okay. So after that, we're going to start a picnic here. I'm going to go ahead and make a sandwich for electric. Let me just make sure I know what that is real quick. And let me just remind you that the only thing that matters in uh, when it comes to outbreaks for your sandwiches is the main ingredient. In this case, it is yellow bell pepper for electric. Other than that, you can use two of any herb you really want to, whatever you have a lot of. As long as I'm using the yellow bell pepper, it should still give me sparkling power three for electric. 
All right, so I have finished eating my sandwich and you can see in the top right that it's gonna give me sparkling power for electric, dub. All right, so now that we have our sandwich going, we can close out of our picnic and we can just start picnic resetting once we get all our spawns. So we're just gonna run around, see if we can find a shiny. Um, and once you see a bunch of spawns that aren't shiny, uh, just like right now, I'm not seeing any of these are shiny. I'm just gonna press X, picnic, and spam Y just to make it go by faster. And then you're gonna close the picnic and that'll recycle the spawns over and over again. So you just keep doing this until you get a shiny. I am going to pause the video until I get one. All right, so here we go. Bro is not spawning. We finally got it. All right, so now you can see uh, just because of this whole method, I got my outbreak, got my shiny. Uh, I, I do have a shiny charm, so my odds are a little better, but even with uh, the killing 60 plus the shiny charm, the odds aren't even that much better than without a shiny charm. All right, give it a nice little tick. Boom, we got us a nice shiny luxury dub. All right, so perfect. Even if you don't get the shiny, just remember you did drop that hard save right after you killed the 60, so you can always like, if your sandwich runs out, you can just restart your game, go for another and you're all good. All right, but as you can see, this method does work. You can influence the spawn of a Pokemon that you want in an outbreak just by being in the general area of where it spawns. So if you're wondering why you're not seeing certain Pokemon, this is probably why. You really need to be in the area that, um, that it spawns in. So honestly, that's it. Glad I got to share this with you guys. Uh, hope you guys catch some sick shinies with this method uh, other than that that's going to be it for this video i'm probably going to be live on twitch right after i upload this so if you have any questions if you want to see me doing this live or if you just want to come and hang out i love talking to you guys you can check out my link down below on that um that's it hope you guys have a good one i'm out this bitch Deuces, peace